Good morning, everybody. If you will, go ahead and take your seats. The program will begin in just a minute. Well, thank you all for being here today. Wow. Blown away by uh, everybody coming here. Very thankful uh, for this. Um, just a little plug, shameless plug for Airstream Ventures and, and uh, our uh, company um, of all the different things that we are doing and working on. Very proud of uh, what we've accomplished uh, in a short amount of time and really want to thank our staff. Um, we've got an incredible staff and just really want to sing their praises. Thank you very much for all that you do. We're excited today, though, to announce a new program called High School 912. Um, as, as some of you know, uh, I am from Jacksonville, Florida. I'm very proud of being from this city um, and really want to, to do something to give back to this community. Uh, our business is such with Airstream Ventures that we do a lot of different events um, for profit because we're in the business of, of making a little bit of money so we can pay the bills. But we also want to do something that makes a difference in this community. And so we, have, uh, we are officially today launching High School 912, which we'll tell you about. It's academic sports and life, and we're focusing on a holistic approach towards the whole child. And so uh, being from this city and seeing the vision that the mayor has laid out, uh, our new school superintendent um, and, and our sheriff working together, you see these, our city council members, our school board. Um, was I supposed to wear this? Okay. <laughs> Take two. Um, you see the vision that, that they have laid out. Um, it is something that is infectious, and it's really cool to see how everybody in this community is working together to uh, accomplish the, the, the goals that we need. Uh, even um, Daniel Davis, uh, the Jacks Chamber, and Michael Corrigan uh, of Visit Jacksville, everybody's just coming together, and this is the best time, I believe, to ever be in Jacksonville, Florida. And we want to make sure that we are um, fostering our, our, our young kids so that they can be the best they can be and achieve their dreams. So if you look at High School 912, just want to give you a quick snapshot. On the video, you can go. We launched our website this morning. It's uh, Jack's High School 912, actually numerically, .com. You can go there and learn all uh, about this program uh, and see how to get involved. We're just going to hit a couple of the quick highlights. Um, when, it looks, when we look at the academic program, little things make a difference, little things. And so you look at our high school students that are involved in our school systems around uh, the area. SAT and ACT, I, I was in college athletics for 15 years. Those tests are critical to getting scholarship monies, 
to getting bright futures. And so we are very uh, privileged to partner with a company on the academic side, University Select. And um, Ashley and Jonathan Andrew are here today. Thank you so much for your um, help on this. But we will be uh, putting kids in, in our school system through boot camps, ACT and SAT boot camp, and um, really getting them to the point where they can take those tests. Studies show that when you go through a boot camp like that, your test scores raise from 150 points to 400 points. So if we can get these students and their scores raised in order to get scholarship dollars from universities and bright futures, we can get them into college. And so we're prepared to do that with University Select and in working with the Duval County Public School System. We're really excited about the academic side of High School 912. And when it comes to life skills, there's so many great uh, entities in our community that are doing so many great things. The mayor has a leadership council. Uh, Dr. Green is doing so many great things in the high school. And we've got other organizations out there that are doing uh, super things. One of the organizations that we're partnering with, and we will partner with other organizations, is an organization called Marathon High. And Jackie Culver, their executive director, is here today. Marathon High um, works with students at 23 different uh, schools around the community and puts them that these students that aren't involved in a team or or a band or the theater or whatever it is they take them and they put them in a running program make them a part of a team and they train and they run the donna marathon and they run the um, gate river run and so it, it just encapsulates everything that we are trying to do with high school 912 and we'll be partnering with other organizations uh, with that in addition we are funding High School 912 through corporate partners. The private community is funding this program. And so um, with that comes these private corporations and in, in, included in the life skills portion, our co companies that are involved with this are gonna put um, kids in internships, teach them about real world life, um, prepare them for college, but also they have four or five years under their belt with a company learning how to work in the environment um, learning a trade, therefore when they go to college and they come back, they've already got that real world experience that will really help them. So we're excited about that. And finally, the sports part of this, um, I am a big sports nut, but I do believe that sports teaches us, um, and I think you see a lot of the mayor's tweets on this too, but uh, sports teaches us so much about life, so much about character, so much about integrity, so much about working together that carry us on um, in the real world and the, the workforce that we all, all work in. And our sports, we're, we're excited to launch um, our very first event uh, that will be um, just uh, a very exciting. We'll talk about that in a second. I do wanna, I do wanna thank a few people. Um, I do wanna thank uh, Jim Stone Media and George Birnbaum and his team for uh, really helping us put all of this together. Um, he is another local business that started here and is doing great things that you see all over, all over this community. So thank you to Jim Stone Media and George. Um, and we also, I, I wanna thank the companies that have already uh, joined on board with High School 912. We're talking actively right now to about eight different companies about coming on board with this. But uh, the companies that we've actually uh, signed contracts with and instead from day one when I met with them, um, we want to be on board. Bono's Barbecue and Joe Adib has been in this community for a long, long time. And uh, he said day one, I'm in. I want to help these young kids succeed. U.S. Assure, Ty Petway, um, and Ryan Schwartz, you, you, they've done so much at TIA Bank Field. Ty said day one, we're in. Uh, the CSI companies and Chris Flakus um, said uh, as soon as we met with them, we're in. We're, we're doing this. Uh, Baker Sports and Josh Baker. Um, don't know if Josh is here today, but Baker said we're in. And the company called Fortegra, Mike Grasher. And um, so I think you will see over the next few days and weeks, we'll be announcing more and more companies that have stood up and said, we believe in High School 912 and we wanna be a part of this. I wanna introduce our mayor. We're very fortunate to have a mayor um, that is, uh, believes in this city, that believes in High School 912, that from, from day one said, you know, we're all about this. Um, we, are, we are committed to the entire student. He has kids of his own, and he and Molly do an amazing job of raising their kids. And so this embodies um, really from day one what we uh, talked about. And so I want to bring him up and thank him for all his support in this.
Thank you. Um, I'll tell you what's really cool about this is from the city's perspective, we have the Kids Hope Alliance. Uh, we work with Duval County Public Schools, Dr. Green, and we want to get it right. I mean, the reason we created the Kids Hope Alliance is we are working, Joe Peppers with the KHA is working every day to make sure we get it right. But the city can't do it all. So to see this happening uh, with the private sector, with your leadership, uh, completely aligned with what we're trying to do. We have a summer jobs program. We're talking about jobs, academics, and life. I know from my own perspective, sports played a huge role in my discipline and, and frankly, where I've ended up today. Um, and, you know, I see it with my own kids. Uh, gosh, Dr. Green, to the teachers and the coaches, uh, you know, talking to a coach, uh, not about athletics, but literally watching a coach in a sport teach one of my children how to better express himself off the field. Uh, sitting with a teacher recently outside of normal classroom hours kind of breaks me up to think about this because they work so hard. Outside of classroom hours to talk to me about how to help my child get better academic opportunities. So uh, guys, this is just keep on with the leadership. We're 100% behind you in whatever we can do. And this, we do have a big thing coming up here on Sunday, so I have to take this opportunity to plug it. I got a little Jag swag on. So if this makes the news and you're going to the game, make sure you're loud when the Texans are on offense. Thank you. We need a win Sunday. We need a win. That is for sure. We'll guarantee it, right? We'll guarantee it right here. Uh, in putting this uh, uh, high school 912 program together, we needed uh, some partners in this, and we have been very fortunate. Uh, Dr. Green has been uh, in this community a short time, but is making a very quick impact on everything that's going on in our school system. Uh, she's a big team Duval, and she'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I do want to recognize um, Tia Leathers over here, who has been um, very supportive of this uh, program from day one when we talked to her staff, uh, she said we're in. Um, and Tammy Talley over here, who a lot of you uh, know is the Duval County Athletic Director. From the moment that um, we sat down and talked about it, she said, I'll do whatever I can to help you. And so she has done so many things in this community for so many years. So Tammy, really want to thank you for everything you've done there. But we are excited to have a new leader of our, of our school system that and just reading about what her vision is and hearing her thoughts, um, we are very thankful that she is supportive of Jacksonville High School 912. And I want to introduce Dr. Diana Green to you. Good morning. It's indeed an honor and pleasure to be here. And we are very excited about High School 912 to be one of our newest members of Team Duval. The reason I feel so passionate about this is one, I was a high school athlete and I went to college on a track scholarship. Uh, unfortunately, my sophomore year, I had a complete sever of my ACL and dislocation of my patella. So that part of my career ended. But the fact that my parents and other support systems taught me how to move beyond that and continue with my college education is probably why I'm here today. And as I passed that, my husband and I passed that along to our sons. My son Joshua went to college on a baseball scholarship, drafted to the Chicago Cubs, but unfortunately he had the same fate, had a, a tragic accident, fractured his back, and yet he is a graduate of High Point University working in New York in a successful uh, business of finance. And so college sports is important, but for many, many students, it does not lead to professional athletes. It can lead to a professional career. And I'm encouraged that High School 912 is going to instill those type of characteristics and values in our high school athletes. That yes, you are talented and you have an opportunity to have a college scholarship or the possibility of becoming a professional athlete. But know that athletics is a tool, a resource, but that we have to live our lives as successful young adults and be contributing members and hopefully back to Jacksonville. Yes, the Jags need a win, but Duval County Public Schools, we are winning every day. 
and 912. I expect you to help us keep winning. Thank you. I can assure you we are on Team Duval, so. And we're all on Team Duval for the Jags. So when we talked about high school 912, I played high school basketball and baseball here. My parents wouldn't let me, um, and if they're watching today, they wouldn't let me play football. They were afraid I'd get hurt, but I got plenty hurt on high school and baseball, uh, basketball and baseball. But as a basketball player, I always thought it would be really cool to do a high-level high school basketball tournament here that has an NCAA tournament feel that really gives our athletes an opportunity to feel what those college players feel and to feel what the NBA feels in a high school way. And so we're very excited that our first athletic event um, of this will be the Fortegra High School 912 Basketball Invitational presented by the CSI companies. Um, and we've been working on this for quite some time. Anthony Candelino, I think, is, is here. Anthony is the owner of the restaurant, um, has been in high school basketball for a long time. Anthony really, when I, when I told him about this, he said, I'll help you put it together, and started calling the coaches, working with the coaches. And um, we have eight incredible uh, teams that are going to play in our inaugural Fortegra High School 912 Basketball Invitational presented by the CSI companies. The games, it will be December 13th through the 15th. All of the games will be streamed on the uh, News for Jacks app. The semifinals will be broadcast uh, on the CW network, and the finals will be broadcast on TV4, along with our partners at 1010XL. Um, Frank Frangi back there representing 1010XL has been a huge friend and a big partner in this. Uh, does an incredible job of walk-off charities that you've heard about um, that we partner with. And so um, 1010XL will be a prime partner of this basketball invitational as well. The teams that we have in this um, uh, are Episcopal will be the host of it this year. We have Bowles, Bishop Kenny, Providence. We have Revolt. We have uh, Ponte Vedra. We have First Coast, and we have Orange Park. So it's a great way to tip off the holiday season, come out. Uh, you can go to our website at jackshighschool912.com to buy tickets. Everything is online right now. We do have courtside seats available, so if you want to get really close to the action. But we're just excited to have the partners that come with us and say, we really want to do something special. Our football community is incredible, but our entire high school sports community is really incredible, too. And so we're excited to um, host the first ever of this magnitude. We've run a lot of NCAA basketball tournaments in Jacksonville. We have one coming up, the first and second rounds in March, uh, down at the Veterans Memorial Arena. This will be a prelude to that. And you're going to see some of the very best basketball players from Jacksonville uh, that will be making a difference on the college front um, playing here December 13th uh, through the 15th. And last but not least, uh, we're excited to host right after this the first ever high school basketball media day uh, for all the boys and girls teams um, that said we want to be a part of this. We have 53 teams that are coming to talk to our media today um, from uh, the boys and girls uh, community. I want to thank uh, the CSI companies. When we talk to Chris Flakus uh, and his team who is here today, thank you for all your work uh, with us. Uh, Chris said, you know what, we're in. I love the sport of basketball, but I love what sports does to develop the entire uh, person. If you're not familiar with the CSI companies, they're the leading technology staffing company uh, here, and um, they just do an incredible job. The thing that I'm learning about the CSI companies, they do stuff in this community you don't even hear about because of their humble spirit. It's not about them. It's about making this community a better place. So, Chris, thank you for your leadership in that. We really appreciate that. And I, on behalf of, the, we have a lot of coaches here, um, and I want to I wanna recognize all the high school coaches here. Thank you for being here. Our tournament coaches are here. We'll get a picture right after this, and then they'll be the first ones to go into the media day at 10 o'clock. Um, so thank you for being here. It means a lot to us, and thank you for your support of this tournament. Uh, but on behalf of the coaches, we want to invite um, Chip Stroud, um, who is the head coach of Episcopal in our host school, to say a few words. But before he says it, I have to thank Andy Kidd, uh, the athletic director at Episcopal, because when we asked him to do this, he said, absolutely, I'm on board, let's do it. And so, uh, Andy, thank you for all your support in that. 
Chip Stroud, the head boys basketball coach at Episcopal. Uh, we are very thankful and appreciative of in the high school community to have this event like Dr. Green. Um, I also played college basketball and got a chance uh, playing high school basketball in Florida down south to have a big exposure tournament uh, when I was there. And now that we're doing this in Jacksonville, it's pretty special. Um, I, I, like I said, I played in college, uh, Division Two. Easily could have played Division One, but that was a family decision and uh, <laughs> no, no other reason other than, uh, than that. Um, but we've been hoping, like I said, to build a first-class tournament like this in the area for a long time, and there's a lot of people to thank from the coaches' side of it. Um, Airstream Ventures and, and Alan Verlander and his team uh, coming over with a lot of meetings and sort of the idea uh, to, to put this on at Episcopal. Uh, the CSI companies and Chris Flakis, Fortegra, uh, for seeing this vision through and, and being a financial backer to allow this to, to take place. Um, Mayor Curry and, and Dr. Green for your support of high school athletics uh, in the area. Um, is, is great and allowing all the teams to come together uh, for this great event. Uh, Reverend Green, the head of school, and Andy Kidd, as Alan mentioned, at Episcopal uh, for allowing us to host uh, this great event as well. Uh, we want to thank 1010XL, uh, TV4 for their vi uh, vision and support um, and promoting high school athletics in general, not just basketball and not just football. And as we move on, as Alan said, to high school media day, I, I think for basketball, we've seen it. The basketball coaches I've seen it every year. Our football coaches every August go to the stadium, get to take a player or two down there, and it's, it seems like an awesome event. And now we finally get that here uh, for basketball, which I think is pretty special. And again, thanks to you and Anthony for hosting a former, I see him peeking back, former state championship coach back there. Um, but uh, thanks again for allowing us to do this here. And uh, as we move on and we, get, we look forward to December, uh, we're, again, just super excited for this tournament to take place at Episcopal with the eight teams we have and hoping it'll grow in the future to hopefully something bigger and better, and maybe we have to host it at a bigger venue that we have in town. I think we have here, so it'd be great. But uh, just thanks for coming out, and I appreciate it. Thank you. We are very fortunate as we wrap up. I've, I've been in several markets, and we have media here that support high school sports like no other. We are so fortunate that they tell the story every Friday night in the fall. Um, our, from our TV stations uh, with TV4 and CBS and our NBC affiliates. We're, and then 1010XL, Hacker does one of the best high school football shows. Um, 1010XL believes in high school sports um, and all of our media. We're so fortunate that they are a mouthpiece for us. And so I really want to thank them. Um, TV4 will be our partner in this. Bob Ellis, uh, for those that you know, said from day one, we're in. And uh, Steve Griffin at 1010XL, we're very lucky that to have the magnitude of these media partners with us from the fir very first year, it's, it's a very humbling thing. So on behalf of Airstream Ventures, um, on behalf of our team, we are so thankful that uh, we are launching officially High School 912 and the Fortegra High School 912 Basketball Invitational presented by the CSI companies. Uh, if you want to stay and see our coaches and Basketball Media Day begin, we'll, we'll start that at 10 o'clock. But we really want to thank Mayor Curry and Dr. Green for being here. It means a lot to us that um, you would support this from uh, day one. And we are here to be your allies in the private world to uh, accomplish your dreams and vision. And whatever you, we have to do to support that, we'll do that. So thank you very much. Thank you to everyone for coming. Um, and uh, this concludes uh, the introduction of High School 912. Thank you.